So, dear students, uh, this is the first lecture. I mean, uh, it's sort of a test case because this is the first time I'm doing this uh, on the iPad. So, let's see if uh, ye, it turns out to be successful. First of all, I hope you all will be in the same way and you will be in the same way. अब हमें जरा क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स को डिस्कस करना है तो लास्ट टाइम अगर आपको याद होगा कि हमने मेजरमेंट के बारे में डिस्कशन की थी सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इज हाउ इज द मेजरमेंट ये बेसिकली रिव्यू है पिछले लास्ट प्रीवियस लेक्चर का हाउ इज द मेजरमेंट इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स different from that classical mechanics mechanics so this may you I'm gonna address this point cookie at officially lecture me or do you choose important have what you have a key quantum mechanics me a single measurement is meaningless. Uh, note, your important note, hai, single measurement in quantum mechanics is meaningless. Or is Lee happen on May? क्योंकि we have to interpret the results probabilistically इसलिए हमें ensemble of systems को consider करना पड़ता है और उन पे measurement की बात करनी पड़ती और वहाँ से फिर हमें जो experimental results हैं उनके probable outcomes की बात करनी पड़ती है so we look at outcomes probability of experimental outcomes of experimental outcomes it's Lee you I'm getting you your probability heck yeah for a particular outcome let's say we have an ensemble of uh, n systems consider an ensemble جس طرح پہلے بات کی گئی ہے کہ ایک سنگل سسٹم پہ نہیں بلکہ ایک انسامبل انسامبل میننگ سیٹ آف آئیڈنٹیکل سسٹمز ان کے اوپر ہم یہ میجرمنٹ کی بات کرتے ہیں تو کنسیڈر انسامبل آف این سسٹمز لیٹس سے دے آر سپن ہافز لیٹس سے دیز آر spin half systems جن سے ہم ہم کافی فیملیر ہو گئے اور جس پرٹیکلر ایکسپیریمنٹ کی ہم بات کرنے لگے ہیں اس میں let's say out of these total n n plus جو ہیں ہمارے پاس spin up results آتے ہیں spin up meaning sz کی میجرمنٹ جب ہم کرتے ہیں تو plus h bar by 2 آتا ہے اور n minus جو ہیں ان میں سے spin down آتے ہیں یعنی کہ s z کی measurement جو ہے اور اس میں ہمارے پاس minus h bar by 2 آتے ہیں measurement کریں گے کس طرح یہ ہمارا as usual you can think of this as stern gerlach experiment apparatus oriented along the z axis and so forth so out of the total n you have n plus giving you z plus h bar by 2 for a when you measure s z and you have n minus meaning s z measurement pay up to minus h bar by two the total number you have obviously has to be the total number of systems in the ensemble which is n so probability probability of obtaining of obtaining plus h bar by two when we measure when we measure when we measure sz 
is given by P plus. So let's say that our initial state is psi, which is a uh, linear combination of plus and minus states, and uh, we do a measurement on an ensemble of systems in in the state psi. So the probability of obtaining plus h bar by two when we measure sc is given by this. Say, so if you go back to uh, basic definition of probability, we have said that the probability is similarly defined. That p plus, which is, we can also define it in this way. That we do a measurement on the ensemble, and we get n plus of the systems are in plus state out of the total and this is should be equal to what we obtain what we calculate in quantum mechanics we calculate this uh, overlap absolute square the yeah, inner product between psi a plus and take the absolute square so we get this result up since it's a we're talking about probability so it's like i said earlier k meaningful nahi hai kam single measurement ki baat kare magar jo cheez meaningful hai wo hai hum average value ki baat kar sakte hain jisko quantum mechanics mein aam taur pe expectation value bhi kehte hain and we also want to find out the spread of measurement results from the average jisko hum quantify karenge in terms of standard deviation so mean value jo hai expectation value is an important quantity in quantum mechanics expectation value of an observable observable aap keh lete hain observable a hai in state to aapko expectation value ke liye both the observable which in this case is a or state b specify karni padti hai and uh, you obtain it by calculating actually you represent it as in this form when you have these uh, angular brackets a sandwich between the angular brackets and you express this in uh, the uh, the direct notation like this and this is aapko state given ho this observable mein aap interested hain so you can find the average value of the observable so the a is the operator corresponding to the observable and you have to take um uh, this overlap and actually you can using this you can calculate the expectation or the average value in quantum mechanics so uh, let's look at some examples so for the first example that we are going to look at is let's say are we interested in the observable hamara observable jisme hum interested hain let's say the observable is sz so the corresponding operator is sc operator and we want to find the average value of this observable uh ye ho gaya or state jisme hum interested hain iski average value malum karna ya expectation value we want to find out the expectation value of the observable sc in state plus so यहाँ ऊपर वाले में ए की बजाय आप एस सी डाल दीजिए और इधर आपने एस सी जस्ट पुट अट टू रिमाइंड यू दैट्स एन ऑपरेटर अब आप ये चीज़ जो है बड़ी आसानी से कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं बिकॉज प्लस इज द आइगन स्टेट ऑफ एस सी एंड सो डोंट माइंड द नॉइज घर में होने की वजह से सो दे ऑल काइंड नॉइज नेक्स्ट टाइम आई हैव टू क्लोज द विंडो अच्छा एनी ये जो है या जब इसके ऊपर एक्ट करेगा तो ये आपको प्लस एच बार बाय टू प्लस दे देगा विच इज़ जस्ट नंबर सो यू कैन टेक इट आउट एंड यू हैव प्लस प्लस एंड रिजल्ट इज एच बार बाय टू सो इन दिस केस 
as since it's an eigenstate of FC and to have this value. So if you if there are your ensemble of systems in, in the plus state, so when you do n measurements on this ensemble of n systems and you take the average value, what you will find is the result would be plus h bar by two. And this seems very reasonable uh, because uh, that's the only measurement result that you'll get because it's an eigenstate, plus is an eigenstate of SC with the value. When you do a measurement, you'll obtain the value plus h bar two every time. So the average value will be the same. And this is uh, very consistent with what you expect. But let's say, let's, let's make the case uh, problem a little more uh, diff complicated, let's say. We do it and uh, we want to find the expectation value of the same observable, SZ, but not in its eigenstate, but in some other state. So let's say we do it in, so the observable is the same. Let's say the observable is, let's take the same observable, SZ, and but and now we choose the state as plus x. So if you do that, to find the expectation, expectation value of SZ in this state now, now the state is different, it's not the same state, pehle jo tha wo plus C, a plus X hai, to ye aapko plus X aap kar lenge either. And in this case, you have to evaluate this. Hmm? So one of the ways of doing it is, is uh, you write it in the eigenbasis of SC. So recall, okay, recall plus X to hai in the eigenbasis of SC can be expressed as plus plus minus state. Hmm? So if you do that, one over two ajayega. SZ, this is your plus X state. And now you're going to operate it on Now this is easy to do. E one over two are getting with all the for multiply carrying up one over square root of two. So one over two. This was your okay. Let me go back so that you can actually understand what I'm trying to say. So you have one over two, and this is your plus x state, and this is your leaving out the one over square root of two. You come back by the plus x. Hmm. So if you do look at this, let's just leave it plus minus minus if you operate this, you will give plus h bar by 2 with, a, with, with plus back because it's an eigenstate. Or you have plus minus h bar by two aje, or you minus aje. So if you do that, so one over two, h bar by two ka common le sakte, h bar by two, and you all you need is plus plus overlap one de dega. So ye one aje ga yahan pe, plus minus jo hai apko zero de dega. Orthonormal basis hai, minus plus bhi zero de dega, minus minus jo hai apko h bar by 2, remember, we have taken that out of this, it minus. So the result of this is 0. Zero h bar, let's just say, this is the result of the measurement. You take the expectation, this is, this is what expectation value gives you this. Now the question is, is this reasonable? I mean, this is what we get going through the uh, calculation. It's very simple. We've done uh, this many times before. But the question is, does it make sense? Huh? Why do you get a zero h bar result? 
I mean, that's that's a that's a good question. Why do you get the av- think? Let's let's uh, step back. Or so, some many koshish karte hain ki humne kya kya hai. We are doing measurement on ensemble of systems, and we do a lot of measurements, and then we take the average value of all the results that we get. And in the end, when we do find the average value, what we find is the result is zero h bar. But remember that uh, on a measurement of S x, S y, or S z, the only values that you can get on when you do a measurement on any of these observables for any of these observables on any any state, the only result that you can actually get is one of the eigenvalues, which is plus and minus h bar by two. So the question is, why are you getting zero h bar? Hmm? So you have to think about that. Huh? तो इसके बारे में थोड़ा सोचें कैसे जीरो एच पार किस तरह रिजल्ट आ गया देखिए ना किसी मेजरमेंट में तो ये जीरो एच पार नहीं आ सकता या तो प्लस एस डी की मेजरमेंट करेंगे सिस्टम स्पिन हाफ सिस्टम के ऊपर जो कि प्लस स्टेट में है प्लस एक्स स्टेट में है उसकी मेजरमेंट का रिजल्ट जो है या किसी भी भी स्पिन हाफ स्टेट में हो उसकी मेजरमेंट का रिजल्ट जो है वो लाजमन प्लस और माइनस एच बार बाई टू होगा तो क्वेश्चन इज कि ये जीरो एच बार कैसे आ गया जीरो एच बार जो है वो एक सिंगल मैयमेंट का रिजल्ट नहीं है ये रिजल्ट जो है ये मीन या एक्सपेक्टेशन वैल्यू है एवरेज वैल्यू ऑफ मैयमेंट रिजल्ट्स। दैट इज द हेंट अब देखें ना थोड़ा गौर करें समझ में आ जाती बात कि ये प्लस एक्स स्टेट जो है वो इक्वल लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन है प्लस और माइनस स्टेट की देखिए ना याद करें ना ये जो प्लस एक्स स्टेट है इसमें प्लस और माइनस जो है वो इक्वल लीनियर कॉम्बिनेशन है ठीक है ना वन ओवर स्क्वेयर रूट टू आ रहा है सेम कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है प्लस की भी स्टेट की भी और माइनस स्टेट की भी तो इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि हाफ प्रोबिलिटी है प्लस हासिल करने की भी किसी मेजरमेंट में जब आप एस की मेजरमेंट करें तो 50% परसेंट प्रॉबिलिटी है कि प्लस एच बार बाई टू रिजल्ट आएगा मीनिंग द सिस्टम विल बी विल बी फाउंड स्टेट प्लस और दैन देर इज फिफ्टी परसेंट प्रॉबिलिटी दैट विल हैव द वैल्यू माइनस एच बार मीनिंग इट विल बी इन स्टेट माइनस सो वेन यू डू दिस ऑन द एनसाम्बल फिफ्टी परसेंट प्लस फिफ्टी परसेंट माइनस एच बार बाई टू फिफ्टी परसेंट प्लस एच बार बाई टू तो द एवरेज वैल्यू वुड बी जीरो एच बार so that is very very reasonable so aaj ke pehle session jo hai na hum idhar rokte hain kyunki abhi ye test case chal raha hai so let's see if it's ye sara cheezein theek tarike se ho jati hain agar ho jati hain to then we will continue with this uh,